For the first time ever, astronomers might have witnessed a star actually become a black hole right before our eyes, or telescopes. In this visible light image from the Hubble Space Telescope, we can see a large star about 25 times the mass of our Sun, around 22 million light years away in the galaxy NGC 6946. This was in 2007. But in a Hubble image from 2015, looking with the same filters at the same wavelengths, the star appears to be gone. One possible explanation? The star died and became a black hole. But it gets weirder. The most prevalent theory for how a black hole forms is through a supernova. If a star is big enough, at the end of its life it will eject its outer layers at high velocity in a massive explosion, while the inner core collapses into a very tiny space, creating a gravity well so great that light can't escape. Literally a black hole. So did we see the star go supernova? No, not really. A team of astronomers was monitoring the star with a large binocular telescope in Arizona and saw the star get brighter in 2009, but not nearly as bright as a supernova. They call it a failed supernova. The star does expel its outermost layer, but relatively gently and not in a big explosion. Okay, so the star got brighter in visible light in 2009 and then disappeared in visible light. How do we know it's not just hidden behind a cloud of dust or something? The team checked for that. They looked at infrared observations from the Spitzer Space Telescope, which would be able to see the heat of dust warmed by the star. What we see with Spitzer is there is some emission in the mid-infrared, but it's fading and fainter than what you would expect to see with a hidden star. The team thinks instead that this infrared light is from the heat of gas falling back onto the newly formed black hole. To help confirm that the star is now a black hole, the team plans to analyze the observations taken with the Chandra X-ray Observatory, which would be able to reveal X-rays being emitted by the gas falling into the black hole. The team also wants to continue monitoring the star's location in visible light with Hubble, in case the star is still there and reappears. And they'll want to look at the location with the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope to check if there's a surviving star hidden by cooler dust than can be observed with Spitzer. So if this really is a black hole birth, what does that mean for astronomy? First of all, this would show that a star doesn't need to go supernova to form a black hole. Astronomers actually haven't seen as many supernovas occur with the largest stars as they would expect to see, and they've been wondering why this is. Perhaps 10 to 30 percent of massive stars don't go supernova, and they're still able to simply form a black hole. If future observations confirm this team's findings, this would be the first birth of a black hole ever witnessed and the first failed supernova ever discovered, both of which would usher in an exciting era of astronomy research.